agree. So, for our next discussion, we're going to discuss on the continuous random variable, but now we're going to talk about expected values of the continuous random variable. So, by definition, or for, from the last time when we say expected value, we are talking about the mean. Okay? So, no nakaraan, okay, no, no mga discussion natin, when we say mean, no, from the general formula, from your uh, let's say surveying or mathematics, no, that mean or mu is equal to the summation of x values over the total number of values. Or from our discrete uh, random variable, no, if it is a discrete random variable, okay, yan, that is equal to mu to the summation of x, f of x. Okay, so this is for discrete random variable. So now we're going to talk about what if it is a continuous random variable. So kapag continuous random variable, ito po kanyang equation. So the mean or expected value is equal to same, x f of x nga lang, the limit will be from negative infinity to infinity. Same, same approach, same uh, concept, yun nga lang, katulad nung kanina, from our dis discussion on the probability distribution, the limit is from that x is greater than negative infinity but less than positive infinity or infinity. Okay? So, in addition to that, no, uh, we all know that when we talk about mean, there's also what we call the variance and standard deviation. So, variance is uh, sigma squared while standard deviation is the square root or sigma squared or sigma. Okay? In this case, Sigma squared is equal to at the top, no? The integral of x squared f of x dx minus mean squared, okay? Where x ranges from negative infinity to infinity, the same. And then, the square root of that is the standard deviation, okay? So, for us to apply that concept, let's have this sample problem. Let x be the random variable that denotes the life in hours of a certain electronic device. The probability density function is this one. So, binigay na sa atin. So, f of x is 20,000 over x cubed or x greater than 100. And f of x is 0 if it is elsewhere. When we say elsewhere, it means that the set of all real numbers okay, for the value of 0. So, yung from the previous discussion that we have. So, the question is, find the expected life of this type of device. Tinatanong sa atin, ano ang expected lifespan given yung ating probability density function. So, first things first, i-define e natin. Sabi sa atin, by definition, no, i-dalhin e natin to, doon sa susunod na, ayan. Yeah. By definition, no, sinabi sa atin that the mean of the continuous random variable is the integral of x f of x dx. Ayan. From negative infinity to positive infinity. Yan. Parehas na parehas. Same. Same approach. Same uh, value. Okay? Or same uh, same uh, concept. Pero nyo nga lang, integration. Okay? So, since ito yung binigay sa atin, and we are given f of x as 20,000 of x cubed. So, yun yung magiging basis natin ngayon. No? Kasi, Mukhang yun ang, ano ba, yun ang may limit or interval that x is greater than 100. So, that is 101 and so on. Okay? So, to find the mean, so that is the integral of, neg of x, f of x, dx, ranging from negative infinity to positive infinity. f of x here is integral ng, okay? So, x multiplied by 20,000 over x cubed dx ranging from negative infinity to infinity. Okay? So, ayan. So, anong lalabas na sagot natin? So, yung 20,000, pwede natin ma, ma, maging constant. So, lalabas na lang dyan is ito na. So, 20,000 ayan. Na integral ng 1 over x squared dx negative infinity to infinity ang limit. So, applying the rules of the integration, di ba, para 
uh, magiging eto ay dito ko na nilalagay magiging is equal to 20,000 na integral ng x raised to the negative 2 dx yan huh? so n plus 1 x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 so matitira ay magingyari ay 20,000 multiplied by so plus 1 this will be x raised to negative 1 huh? This will be x raised to negative 1 over 1. Okay. Limit is from negative infinity to infinity. Yan na. So, kung negative x raised to the negative 1 over 1. Okay. Okay. So, from there, pwede na tayong mag- na mag-substitute, no? So, lalabas dyan, that is equal to, yan, 20,000 over x. No, 20,000 over x. Okay? So, now, the question, um, over negative 1 pa pala, negative 1. So, this is negative 20,000. So, Since alam nga natin na yung limits natin ay nag-range from negative infinity to infinity, so since binigyan tayo that x is greater than 100 with this f of x, therefore, yung ating negative infinity will remain negative infinity. Okay? Ito pa rin siya. But our infinity is 100. Sorry, 100. Yan. So, applying yung limits, no? Applying the limits, So, dito na lang. Ayan. Applying the limits, that is, mean is equal to negative 20,000 over x. Limit niya is negative infinity to 100. Yan. So, tinatanong kasi lifespan. No? So, let's substitute. So, negative 20,000 over 100. Ano ba yun? over 100 minus minus negative 20,000 over negative infinity. So, negative, negative, positive. So, para lumalabas is negative 20,000 minus so, any number multiplied by infinity is 0. No? 0. Any number multiplied by infinity is Zero. So, since mukhang lalabas sa sagot is negative, so, mali yung assumption natin na yung 100 is ne negative infinity. So, in this case, lalabas kasi dito is negative 20,000 over 100. Lalabas is ilan? 200, negative 200 hours. Tama ba? Lalabas sa sagot natin is negative 200 hours, which is pabaliktad No. So, it indicates lang na yung ating assumption is incorrect. Pabaliktad. No? That means, yung ating negative infinity ay yung ating 100. Bakit? Kasi kung babalikan natin, no? dito, sabi sa atin, x is greater than 100. E di ba yung concept or yung nature ng ating mean is ganito. Dapat, yung x natin, eto, 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 is greater than negative infinity. And in this case, mukhang yung x dito ay, is yung ating greater than sa 100. E di, sabi, ito yung ating negative infinity. So, applying or rechecking our solution, eto na. So, babalik na rin lang natin. No? Babalik na rin natin. So, ulitin natin, mu is negative Ayan, 20,000 over 100, oh, over x, sorry, limit na 100 to infinity na. Kasi mas mataas daw sa 100 eh. So, pinakita ko sa inyo parehas para makita natin na, oops, may mali tayo sa assumption. Kasi wala namang mean na negative. Tama ba? So, if that's the case, so ituloy natin yung solution, lalabas negative 20,000 over infinity. Minus negative 20,000 over 100. So,
So, ito magiging zero na, katulad kanina dito na zero. Ito magiging negative, negative, positive. So, lalabas na to na 100. Lalabas na to na 200 hours. So, this is our answer kasi nag-yield na tayo into a positive value. Okay? So, that is for our problem number one in terms of the concept of expected value or the mean for the continuous random variable. Okay? So, now let's move with the second concept. So, the same with uh, discrete random variable. May tinatawag din tayo na this random variable or random variable with probability distribution f of x given yung value ng ating variable g of x. So, looks from with the discrete random variable nga lang, hindi na siya summation, instead integration. Dahil from our previous discussion, kinukuha natin yung area under the curve para malaman natin yung mga values na naka-indicate doon. Okay? So, eto na siya. So, mean of g of x is equal to, yan, the integral of g of x, f of x dx, ranging from negative infinity to infinity, Given na, tandaan natin, that x is greater than negative infinity and x is less than infinity. Okay? So, let's have our sample problem for that. Ito. Yan na. So, kamukha to, kung natatandaan ninyo from our previous discussion, discrete probability distribution, discrete random variable, so mukhang ganito siya, no? Yan nga lang, in this case, niligyan natin ng limits, no? That x, is greater than negative 1. So, may heads up ka ngayon na ito yung negative infinity. At yung ating x less than 2, positive infinity. Okay? So, pinapanap sa atin expected value ng g of x where g of x the value is 4x plus 3. Yan. So, apply lang natin. No? Kung baga, gawin natin, i-apply lang natin yung same concept no? na naka-indicate dito. Ito. Balik natin. Ayan. Okay. Integral of g of, f, g of x, f of x, dx, where the limits are negative infinity to infinity. Okay? So, let's have this problem. Dali natin ito. Dito. Yan. And then, pinapanap sa atin ano daw? G of x, g of x equal to 4x plus 3. Yan, dito. Find down natin yung mean, given that g of x is 4x plus 3. Ayan. Ano ang gagawin natin? So, idiretso natin. Let's write the formula. Mu is equal to the integral of g of x, f of x, dx, ranging from negative infinity to infinity. Okay? So, sunat lang. Since alam nga natin na ito yung negative infinity at infinity, diba? with the same property, so, yun ay magiging limit. So, g of x, that is 4x plus 3, multiplied by x squared over 3 dx ranging from negative 1 to 2. So, simplifying the equation, no? simplify natin yung equation para hindi tayo hirap. No? Gagawin natin, ilabas natin yung mga possible constant, then simplify yung mga naiwan. So, mukhang may 1 third. No? Ito yung may over 3. So, matitira na lang is so 4x cubed plus 3x squared, yan, dx ranging from negative 1 to 2. Tama ba? Yan na lang matitira. Yan na lang. So, kung yan yung natira, no? So, ang nagagawin, idediretso na natin, no? Diretso ng integration, then, matitira na, no? So, dito na lang. So, lay natin dito. So, may iwan yung 1 third, yan. So, integral, na from negative 1 to 2, na nga, no? Yung 4x cubed plus 3x, so, n plus 1 over n, no, x raised to n plus 1 over n, so ito yung mangyayari, na no, magpa plus 1 to, tama ba? Magpa plus 1 to, ito magpa plus 1, matitira, 4x to the 4th over 4, ano yan? x to the 4th na lang. So, x to the 4th, ito magiging 3x cubed over 3 plus x cubed. No? Yun na lang ang matitira. Okay? So, yan. Diretso na pa. Wala na pala ito. Ayusin natin. X to the fourth na, no? Nalabas. X to the fourth plus X cubed with the limits ng negative 1 to 2. Ayun na. Substitute na lang. So, diretso yun na natin sa mean. Paano? That is? So, that is 
x to the fourth. So, 2 to the fourth plus 2 cubed over 3. Tapos minus lang. Minus negative 1 to the fourth plus negative 1 cubed over 3. So, matitira dyan ay, ano na, lalabas. So, 2 to the fourth, 16 plus 8, ano yun, 24. Taba? 24 over 3. Oh, ito yung una. Minus, ito, positive 1, minus 1, 0 na agad yung ibabaw. So, minus 0. So, lalabas is 24 over 3 or 8. Ito na yung sagot natin for the mean. Okay? Na hinahanap natin sa problem. Okay? So, that is for the expected value of our continuous random variable.